Hey there, this is Stacy. Today I'm going to just show you some things that I got as gifts in the mail from a few of my subscribers. And then I will follow that with a bunch of different things that I have purchased lately. And after that I'm going to share with you a nail polish special deal that everybody needs to get in on ASAP. So the first thing I'm going to show you is a gift that I had gotten from one of my subscribers. Her name's Care, and um, she's from Canada, and she made me this beautiful Christmas card. Um, obviously, this stuff all came before Christmas. I just haven't gotten around to making videos. So um, anyway, she sent me this beautiful card that she made. It has all the pretty poinsettias on the side, um, and she just wrote a real sweet note on the inside. So that's a nice handmade card, which I so appreciate. I know how hard it is to make um, the handmade cards. I tried a long time ago and didn't really have the patience for it. Excuse me, I was really good at shopping for the products, but I was really bad at actually making the cards. And then actually she made this cute little matching envelope that went with it. So that's a dear gift that she sent me along with this um, hand embroidered lavender it says lavender on it. So it's um, a lavender sachet and I will be keeping that in my drawer. I was going to put that in my um, pajama drawer. I like the, when my pajamas smell, have, you know, like a lavender fragrance. I think it's supposed to be a calming, soothing fragrance. So she made that for me, and I really appreciate it. That was really sweet of you to make that for me, you know, to take the time and, and hand make it and everything. So I really do appreciate it. I wanted to mention that first. Then I received another homemade gift from one of my subscribers. Um, I mean, talk about unbelievable friendships that are being developed here on YouTube through the beauty community. I just really and truly cannot even believe it. I just never never fathomed that making videos and watching YouTube videos and kind of where I started from last year, which was just watching other people's videos and then making my own here in probably just the last five months, just the friendships that I've developed and all. And I really do appreciate it. Um, anyway, she made me this beautiful um, scarf. She sent me just a homemade letter and then a package. Um, her name's Azra, I think is how you say it, A-Z-R-A, -A, and she is from Kosovo. Um, so if you can even believe that, I got a gift from Kosovo. I cannot even believe it. So this is the, she crocheted this scarf for me. It's more like a decorative scarf, not really a scarf to keep you warm. So it's real pretty, and it has this um, bead here on it that I think she said it goes through the, um, somewhere along here, I'm not sure where, but um, to keep it together, to hold it together when you're wearing it. So there's the scarf. It is just a real pretty browns with this pretty, oh, my dog is here to say hello. Hi, Missy. I'm not sure if you can see her down there. She smells it for some reason. Maybe you have a dog. <laughs> She's real funny about things like that. She comes and smells things and investigates. So anyway, a beautiful, beautiful scarf, and I will be getting a lot out of wear out of it because it's um, nice neutral colors. So thank you so much, Azra. I really, really appreciate it. Um, she just said that she loved watching my videos and thought I was a kind person and just wanted to do something nice for me. So I really, really appreciate that. Then I had gotten a gift from um, Kirsten from Germany, and she sent me another wonderful card that um, has the angel on it. And I always mention that, me and my angel thing, because I do a chemo angel program where um, I try to send kind, loving words to cancer patients. So um, anyway, just again, seeing that it was really sweet. And so she sent me a bunch of products from Germany, um, just a really sweet Christmas gift. We've kind of been exchanging gifts back and forth. So um, my turn will be next. So the first thing that was in the box, and everything was wrapped up just so cute, and I had to keep this one in its box. I've been really good about trying not to use these products because um, I don't think you should use things until you've um, said thank you for them appropriately. So thank you, Kirsten. So the first thing is this, and it's a lip gloss, and it's called it's funny, it says love on it, and it says love your lips with this 100% natural and exotic blend of Manoi oil and rose. This works. Kind of funny. The minute you came out of here, it was kind of like in a little firecracker sort of thing. And it says this works, super lips. So that's kind of cool. I'll be using that. I'm always on the search, as everyone knows, for the best um, lip products for moisture. And everything came wrapped so cute. Everything 
was wrapped in its own little wrapping paper and here's one of the things that I saved just a cute little ornament kind of like a um, like an acorn or something kind of a little ornament that was tied on one of the packages so there was a, um, a soap from L'Occitane um, pure vegetal soap has a light fragrance to it very nice I've been really good because I like I said I haven't really used the things I kind of like to wait and show them to you first um, and then I got this, um, it's like, it's not really a, a candy, it's more of a cake, and I guess this is a German special, and I did open it, I confess, and took a bite, because I just couldn't resist, and it's like a gingerbread with nuts, delicious, delicious, people know I love food, I, sorry, I can't help myself. Then she sent me a P2 lipstick in Nathan Road, number 50, and here's the color, I swatched it on my lips there. It's a pretty peach color. I'm hoping you can see it. I'm working on my lighting, so let me know if um, if you're not able to see it. One of my subscribers had commented that sometimes the products are whited out by the light that I use, and I just use a light to try to make it so you can see better, but sometimes I guess it makes it worse instead of better. Then she sent me a P2 nail polish. I'm not sure, let's see what the color is. Rich and Royal, there's the color there. It's that pretty um, purpley um, taupe color. Real pretty, thank you, Kirsten. And then this was um, a real pretty pin. I think I might've gotten some crumbs on it there from my little cake, but um, a little pin, a little flower pin, um, and it was pinned onto one of the gifts. So just a real cute pin to wear maybe as a brooch on a shirt or a sweater or even on a scarf or something. And my dog's over here sniffing, she smells my cake. Then she sent this to me, and I cannot really pronounce it. Dr. Hashuka products. And there's a bunch in here, a tube of this, that, and the other, which I cannot say for the life of me. I'll just open it and show you. I'm assuming that it's um, face products. It says that they're natural products. Um, some of them, I guess, have English on them. This one says it's a cleansing clay mask and a hand cream. And then you can just see all these beautiful products in here. And I have a feeling they're wonderful. So I'll be trying those out now that I've shown them. And she did say too that some of the products were limited to edition products, um, maybe for the holidays, I'm not sure. The next thing is um, Glam Stars Eye Lights. It's a highlighting and eyeshadow powder by Art Deco. It's in this real cute little container. See if I can get that open. I don't know why I'm having. Oh, I gotta push it. There we go. Look at those beautiful colors. They're real sparkly. I'm not sure if the sparkle goes down under them or if it's just on the surface, but real pretty for highlights and eyeshadows. Love it. Thank you so much. And then let's see. A cute pair of earrings. Just a fun pair of earrings that can be worn any day, any time of the day. I might switch those out. Um, I always wear. For the most part just kind of a clear this has kind of like some little balls and um, the crystals that are in there are kind of like a light gray color so that's real pretty for every day and that would pretty much match everything i have all the time and then the last thing that's in the box is an essence xxl nudes lip gloss and it looks like that it's just a pretty nude light nude color put it over anything I sometimes wear my lip glosses on their own. Actually, I do have lip gloss on by itself today. Um, it's the nude one from Lee Swatier that um, Mary Elvis had sent me that I love so much. Now I'm gonna go into some of the products that I have purchased. And the first thing that I got that I'd heard a lot about here on YouTube lately was this Egyptian Magic Cream. And I don't know anything about it. It's just one of those creams, magical cream, all-purpose skin cream. I have not used it yet. I've just opened it and touched it and smelled it. So I know it's good for all kinds of different skin conditions. I know I see people talk about that they use it for taking off their makeup. They use it for taking off their eye makeup. Um, I know someone said they used it on their neck just for um, like an anti-aging type of thing. So I'm looking forward to using it. 
Um, I haven't used it lately, or at all, I should say. I haven't used it yet because lately I've been using all that Rosaclear and Abaji products that I had gotten. So that's the Egyptian Magic. It's about $34. I bought mine on Amazon. From what I've heard from other people as well is that you can get it at places like Whole Foods. So that's a product you might want to look into. Um, you could maybe look here on YouTube and just... Um, Put it in as your search term and I bet it would bring up lots and lots of different reviews and such. Then I didn't mention though the last time that I ordered my Obaji Rosa Clear system and my Obaji Declate system that from my doctor's office they had sent me this free full-size Obaji Professional C Serum 15% and I will be totally honest with you and tell you I have no idea what you do with this so if anyone knows let me know I think you put it on your face as an anti-aging. Apply five to seven drops of it to the neck, face, and chest using your fingertips. Apply to cleanse skin in the morning before sunscreen and makeup application. So I don't know. If anyone knows anything about this, let me know. I know vitamin C is supposed to be good you know, for all that anti-aging stuff, but just with everything else I'm using, I just um, hate to do overkill or just waste it if it doesn't really do anything um, with what I'm already using you know, maybe save it for later. Then I ordered the Rosa Clear System, just the Obagi Skin Balancing Sun Protection SPF um, of 30. So I had ordered this from um, that same doctor's office because he was doing 30% off all Obagi. It was through December 31st. So I ordered this this time um, because I didn't know that all the other products didn't have a sunscreen in them that you had to order a separate sunscreen. So I did get this and I'm hoping you can see it. From what I've noticed, some of my white products that I show kind of get whited out from the light. So I'm hoping that this doesn't. I kind of have the light positioned a little different this time. So let me know if you can see that. It's the Rosa Clear um, sunscreen. And like I said, I was kind of surprised that some of the other products because you're trying to lighten your skin and people with rosacea normally use a lot of sunscreen because the sun um, kind of aggravates rosacea. So I was just kind of surprised that the products didn't have it in there already, but it's probably so that they can um, charge you more money for another product. And then this time they sent me a free Obagi, uh, the New Derm, the foaming gel, and that's just a cleanser. Then the next thing that I picked up yesterday is just my Laura Mercier um, natural beige mineral um, powder foundation, the loose powder. I needed a new one, believe it or not. I actually used up the old one, which is just a miracle. So I got a new one of those yesterday. And while I was there, I had asked about the Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation because I cannot believe how many people have that in their favorite product of the year. And I'm not letting it get away from me if that is such a great product. So I went over and asked them if they could color match me at Nordstrom. And the funny thing is my color is called 2N2 Fresco. And I'm going to show you the color and I'm hoping that you can see it. It's really funny because to me and to my daughter, we both looked at it and thought, no way, that is way too dark for you, mom. Um, my daughter was with me, my 18 year old. So anyway, this is the color. I'm going to move it around a little so hopefully you can see it. It's just a liquid foundation. I'm just showing you it in the lid. Um, they just put it, you know, in the little container like this for me. But I could not believe it. I thought, there's no way. That is so much darker than me. That is not going to work. And she took it, and she did an appropriate swatch. She just put it, you know, here on my neck, because that's where your foundation color is supposed to match, is your neck color. So she put it down here on my neck, and I couldn't even find on my neck when I was looking in the mirror where she had put it. That's how close of a match it was to my skin color. And I am wearing it today and I am loving it. So I can definitely see what everybody loves about this double wear foundation. Today's the first day that I'm wearing it. I actually played with it yesterday when I got home and just put it on, but today's the first day that I'm wearing it. Where So far I've had it on for, let's see, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, uh, about uh, five hours, four or five hours. So, so far I am loving it. It's a, a perfect blend for me. I don't have any kind of lines. Um, so color wise, it's great. I'm just hoping that it works with my skin type and continues to look good all day. And then I was just gonna show you, I put it on with my Louise Young brush, this foundation brush that I had gotten from my friends, Claudia and Nikki. Um, in the UK, they had sent this to me, I had requested it. It is a fabulous foundation brush and I just dipped it into the, um, 
into the foundation and then just kind of dabbed it onto my face and then kind of rubbed it in a little bit. So um, it gave really good coverage. I think it's a buildable one. I think they call it a medium coverage foundation. So I had not worn in probably at least six to eight months, I had not worn liquid foundation. All this time I've been wearing my Laura Mercier Mineral Foundation and loved it so, so much. Actually, it's even longer than that because um, it was last year when I started doing the Obagi that the doctor's office, um, the dermatologist's office had recommended the mineral foundation and just they just kind of really just pressed it in my skin because that Obagi caused me to get a big, huge red face. Um, so there's that. Then I did pick up some of the products from the MAC Champagne collection. The first thing that I got was the um, Rosé Olay. And I will show that to you. I'm sure you've seen it a lot already. I haven't even used it yet. I've been so busy. Special Reserve Highlight Powder. It looks like this. It's the one that's more pinky peach. I don't even know what color the other one is. I think the other one's more of a yellow color. So that's what it looks like. It's kind of cool. It looks like a mountain terrain there. Something I saw out of the airplane recently, looking out when we were flying home from California. California to Texas. You see lots of mountains out there in the west. So that's that highlight powder. Maybe I should swatch it for you, just in case you have not seen it yet. And we can see how my camera lighting is working too. Here's the color right here. And it's a highlight powder, so I would just use it kind of down my nose, Cupid's bow, um, upper cheekbone. So there's the color. I'm not sure if you'll be able to see this on camera very well. It's right here. So that's the Rosé Olay. Then I actually picked this up. It's one of the new paint pots, and I'm really not quite sure about it yet. I asked the girl when I got it how the fallout was, you know, is there a lot of fallout because the colors are pretty glittery, sparkly, and she said, oh no, and I got the vintage selection one, which of course I didn't really need. I have a Michael Todd one that I think is pretty close to this. And this is the color here. I am not sure if you can see it. I will go ahead and swatch it. It's really soft and creamy. Oops, I just put it over the other one. It's right here. If you can see that. And I don't know. I think it goes on my hand a lot better than it goes on my eyes. I'm going to try it again tomorrow. I do have this on today, and I put it on, and I just felt like the sparkle was going crazy. Um, it did give some fallout, which I do not like glitter on my face. Maybe at nighttime it wouldn't be so bad, but for daytime just going out, I don't need glitter all over my face, you know. I might be, it might be kind of cute at night, you know, just kind of a little touch of sparkle here and there, you know, kind of a sexy sort of a look kind of evening wear, but um, I didn't really care for it. So I put it on and then I put on um, the MAC Sable, just a matte eyeshadow to kind of drown it out a little bit. So I don't know how well you can see on my eyes right now. And then of course I have my vanilla paint pot like always. Um, the next thing I got was a lipstick. Oops, these are always so hard for me to open. I don't know if they're hard for everyone else, but I can never get these boxes open. Uh, and the color that I got is called Quiet Please. It's kind of a good match here for the, if you can see, next to the paint pot color that I just swatched. And it's, I think it's a luster. I'm pretty sure, yeah, it's a luster. So it's more of just a, um, for me, I think that worked more as just like a gloss, but I just really love the color and couldn't resist. It's kind of like a coppery color, a real light, like a nude copper almost. Kind of reminds me of some wet and wild color that I used to wear back in my college days. So I got that. And no, I'm not done, I'm sorry. Actually, the next two products that I got are not from the collection, they're just from MAC. I was able to sneak away when I was in California. I finally got my husband to get me over to Macy's so I could get the MAC stuff, or the Champagne stuff, before it was out of stock completely. But I did pick up this color called Jest, and it kind of is on the same lines as the others. It's just a real pretty color with a groundwork paint pot underneath it, it will probably be gorgeous. I don't think you can really see it, it's just right here. So, I got Jest, and then I needed a mascara when I was out there. I had only brought my Estee Lauder little sample that I got with me, and boy was that a dud. It did absolutely nothing for my lashes. So I, got, I picked up the MAC Zoom Lash, which I'm sure everybody's seen that before. Um, it actually isn't the one that I really wanted, which I didn't realize till I got back home. It's got a real small brush, and I kind of prefer a larger brush. 
that's what I got from the Champagne collection. Then I wanted to mention a big, huge freebie that's going on right now, and then a couple deals that are going on in stores. Okay, the first thing is Ulta right now has all of their big liter size bottles of shampoo, um, all the better brands for really, really inexpensive prices. I was able to go get my bed head. Um, I picked that up the other day and it was um, $9.99 a bottle for those big, huge liter bottles and they had other brands as well. So if you don't have the flyer, look online at Ulta.com and see if you can um, see if your brand is on there or maybe you want to try a new brand. It was lots and lots of great brands. Um, the big huge bottles, there was um, $9.99 and $12.99 I think was the majority of the pricing on that. Then next week at Ulta, I think it starts Sunday the 9th, they sent out a coupon for 20% off and it includes Bare Minerals. So if you've been wanting to get some Bare Minerals products, maybe try an eyeshadow or um, one of the pretty foundation colors or blushes, 20% off starting next week at Ulta with coupon um, and Bare Minerals is included, which it's usually not. It's one of those 20% off your entire purchase coupons that came. Then here's the biggie. Um, here is my Zoya nail polish. This is just two of the ones that I got from Susie. Um, she had sent me a gift um, probably about two weeks ago. I had done a video to show all the great, amazing goodies she had sent me. So I've been following Zoya on Twitter and on Facebook, you become a fan. So here's the deal. It started yesterday and I believe it's through the 7th. Um, you have to be a fan of Zoya, Z-O-Y-A, on their nail polish website. They were trying to get a certain amount of fans or likes for their website or for their Facebook page. And they said if they hit, I don't know if it was 20,000 or 30,000, by a certain date, everyone would get three free bottles of nail polish. I think these are normally six or seven dollar nail polishes. And so you have to go into Facebook first. So go to your Facebook and put in that you like Zoya, you know, look for, I guess you could search for Zoya nail polish. And then I think it's nail polish and treatments. And so like that. And then you go on to the Zoya website, site which is Zoya.com, Z-O-Y-A.com. And then you go in and you do all of your shopping. And at the end, when you put in your code, which you get from Facebook, which I will tell you anyway, because it's going around everywhere, the code is FB, like Facebook 2011. That's the code. You put that in and you automatically get three bottles of free nail polish. There's absolutely no strings attached. You just pay for the shipping. And I'm afraid that I'm sorry to anyone who does not live in the United States because I think it's only a USA offer. And it is um, $6.95 for shipping maybe $8.95 for expedited shipping, but you literally get three free nail polishes. And this is the company that I showed you, whoops, the little spoon Susie had sent with me too. It came with the little sample deck things that you put the polish over your finger so you can try before you buy. So you can order little, um, little spoons of colors you might wanna try. Um, I know that they include it with your order. Um, they also do send you some of those automatically. So you go in, I think I ordered maybe six polishes, so three of them were totally, totally free. All I paid was $6.95 for shipping for my whole order. And um, we'll see how long it takes to get here because I know that tens of thousands of people are probably getting this, but I didn't want anyone to miss out on it. They have over 300 co um, colors. Their colors are just amazing. They have seasonal colors. They have all the nude colors you could want. They've got the real glittery, glittery sparkle colors. They have, um, you know, all, they have matte colors. I think they have suede colors. They have um, just anything and everything under the rainbow. So go now, Zoya, Z-O-Y-A dot com. Don't forget to like them first on Facebook. So go to your Facebook page or set one up if you don't have one because um, it's for their Facebook fans specifically. And that's about it. I've probably been good and long-winded here and told you more than you wanted to know. And I'm sorry, I'm looking for my little remote here. So anyway, I hope this was a good video for everyone. I decided not to go ahead and do a 
best of 2010 favorites video because I'm already so late doing all this. I really, really wanted to say thank you to my subscribers for the things that they had sent me and I was long overdue in doing that. So I wanted to make sure I got that done first and foremost and then share with you some of the different deals, especially the Zoya one. So in the fu near future, I'll probably just do, or sometime in the future, just, you know, my all-time favorite products for each of the different categories. And since I'd already done my December and I've really only been on here for five months, you can probably see for the last five months, my favorites are pretty much the same all the time. So anyway, I hope everyone's having a great day. Let me know how my lighting was and let me know what particular videos you might want to see. And I hope everyone's having a good one. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. And I will talk to you again soon. Bye.